Hi everyone, my name is Kristen and welcome to the Wapiti Regional Library Creative Corner. Today I am going to show you how to do four tie-dye techniques on four different things. We did a shirt, some socks, a bag, and a blanket. If you want, be sure to check out our prior video of how to make natural tie-dyes using ingredients you already have in our kitchen. Let's see how we make these. Let's start off with the bullseye. We will be doing this on a shirt. As always, be sure to wear gloves so that you don't stain your hands. Grab the middle of your fabric and pull up. It'll kind of look like a little cone. Then spread it out and put rubber bands all along it. I suggest putting them an inch or two apart, but you can do as many or as few rubber bands as you would like. Once you have your rubber bands on, it's time to dye. If you want to do many colors, you can do different colors in each section, or you can just do one color over the whole thing. Both will work. Once you have covered it with as much color as you would like, be sure to turn it over and do the same colors on the other side. Once your fabric is completely covered, you are going to place it in plastic or a plastic bag. We will be doing this with all of our tie-dye pieces and then we will leave them for one whole day. Now we will make the spiral technique using a blanket. Do this by once again grabbing the center of your fabric, but this time instead of pulling up, you are going to twist. Keep twisting all the way around as shown. Once your fabric is in a nice round ball, you are going to place elastic bands all around it. It will kind of look like a cut up pizza because there will be a bunch of pieces made by your rubber bands. Just like before, you can do one color over the whole thing or you can do a different color in each section. For any of you who tried to do the natural dyes, notice that we tried all of our natural dyes on this blanket. The turmeric definitely stood out more than anything else and was overpowering. Just like before, turn it over and color the other side as well. Then place it in plastic for one day. We will now try the crumple technique using a bag. This is probably the easiest tie-dye technique. All you have to do is take your fabric and scrunch it up. There's no perfect way of doing this, just scrunch it into a little bowl. And once again, just place rubber bands anywhere over it. For the crumple technique, the rubber bands essentially just hold your crumples together. Just like before, put your dies on one side, turn it around and add die to the other side. Cover with plastic and leave for one day. Now we will try doing the stripe technique with socks. Please note that these socks were made for tie-dyeing. That's why they have cats on them. You can use any normal socks. To do this, just place your fabric down and place rubber bands all along it, usually an inch or two apart. This will kind of look the same as the bullseye did, but you are not grabbing your fabric in the center to start. Once again, do one color all over, or do different colors in different sections. Flip it over, and color the other side, wrap it in plastic, and leave it for a day. Once you have waited a day or more, take your fabric out of the bag, place it in a sink or a bucket, and use a scissors or a knife to cut off the rubber bands. If you are younger, be sure to ask an adult for help with this. 
You will then rinse it with cold water until the water runs clear. This means that there's no more color coming out of the fabric into the water. Rain it out to dry for a day or two. There you go, you've now made some tie-dye. I hope this inspired you to try your own tie-dye at home. Be sure to send us a picture so that we can see what you make. Have a great day!